that, that's kind of... Okay, um, I'm giving another demonstration. So, um, on the ghost white toner. So we have the printer over there. And um, I have my design on the screen here. So as you can see, we have a multicolor design with black. So the black color in the design is going to be printed in white once the white toner cartridge is inside the printer. Um, would you just mind give me one of the prints, please? So that's what the print looks like when it comes out of the printer. So as you can see, all the blacks in the image actually are printed in white. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place that on my press. I'm going to attach it to the bead paper, which is kind of a gum paper. So this is going to attach everywhere where there was toner. I'm just going to cover it with a silicon paper for protection. And then I'm going to heat press that for 90 to 120 seconds. I'm doing 120 seconds here because I'm working on a lower temperature. Um, with this system, you can print on any fabric. You can go onto cotton, you can go onto polyester bags, you can go onto heavy cotton like this. You can also go onto t-shirts, onto anything. Um, beside that, you can print on any mug. You can use tin mugs, you can use stoneware mugs, you can use insulated bottles. All these items don't have a special coating. These are just regular mugs. So they are not pre-cured, pre-treated or anything. These are just regular mugs. And the print is scratch resistant. The result is also dishwasher safe. And for everything you do onto cotton or polyester t-shirts or any garment, it will also be uh, washing safe. It washes up to 45 times. And if you wash it inside out on a cold wash, it will last even longer. So um, the system gives you the opportunity to do multicolor designs plus white designs on all colors of garment. You can go into light garment, but of course, and that's what it's all about, you cannot go into dark and colored garment as easy as it is. We gotta wait just a few more seconds uh, before I do the peel. So the first peel will be a hot peel, which basically means I'm going to separate those two uh, papers and then I'm going to attach it to a fabric. I have a new cotton t-shirt down there which I will use for demonstration. The system is available through JG Electronics. JG Electronics is our South African distributor. Um, the product is produced in Germany um, and I'm the founder of the Ghost White Toner Company who's doing all these products. Um, we started out with these two printers. There's one model, A4 printer, uh, that starts at 7,500 7, rands. And we have an A3 printer that prints up to A3, same process, that starts at 30,000 rands, approximately. The total cost of a print on A4, including both the papers and the printing cost, would be between 35 and 45 rand, a little bit depending on how much color you really print. Okay, now I'm going to do the separation. I'm going to wipe it quickly. As you can see, I give it a nice peel and everything from the gum paper that um, kind of chemically react with the toner on the A-foil so that the toner now is adhesive to any kind of garment. I'm just going to cut roughly around it quickly to get rid of some excess gum on the edges, okay? Okay, just cut around it quickly and now I'm going to apply it to a cotton t-shirt. I just press my, put my t-shirt on the heat press. I don't have to pre-press it. I don't have to cure it, nothing. It's just a regular cotton t-shirt. I place my design. I just will cover it again with a silicon paper um, to protect the heat press. And now I'm going to heat press it for just 30 seconds. Um, if you want to go onto um, polyester or nylon, you will be doing 10 to 15 seconds. If you're going on leather, you will be doing something around 20 seconds. You can also use this material to go onto wood. It depends on the thickness of the wood. You will be doing 15 to 20 seconds. So you've got to figure out on the material. But once you know that, you will have a stable process that is really working nice. And it gives you multiple opportunities. Think of wood. You can do wood coasters. Think of felt. You can do felt table mats. 
think of polyester bags, you can do sports shirts with polyester garments, all these kind of things. So that was actually 33 second, seconds, but that won't harm us. Okay, now guys, I gotta get this cool, and I gotta get this quickly because we're on video here. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it off the heat press, and I'm gonna put some papers on top of it, and the paper's going to suck the heat out of it. We call that German engineering. Thank you. Just going to rough it like this, okay guys? So that's going to suck the heat out of it. Okay, this is fairly cold now. Um, so, how many of you have done vinyl transfer? Anybody does vinyl transfer? Okay, so, would you do such a design with vinyl? It's a very detailed design, as you can see. It's a four color design, of course, but even in one color, you won't do it. So, I will peel it now. Actually, I will weed it now. This is how I do weeding. Okay, guys? That's uh, everything. Okay, so you just peel down. Uh, you get a perfect transfer, as you can see, everything that's been on the foil is now attached to the garment. Um, so there's one final step left. I will get to this quickly. Everybody sees it has a shiny finish. I will pass it around later. It has a shiny finish, okay guys? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to heat press it again for just 5 to 10 seconds. And I'm going to use two papers. I'll just show it to you. Okay. Some of you guys like the shiny finish, maybe probably the ladies. So we have a glossy finish paper. So we use that one on this side, and we use silicone paper for a matte finish on the other side. So you can see both, you know? Um, and this repress is just for five to 10 seconds, really. And this is what is going to give you the washability that you really want, okay? And that your customers want. Okay, a bit 10 seconds now, that should be really okay. So, this side's going to be really matte now. It's going to be a really nice finish. As you can see there, it's a nice matte finish. It's not shiny anymore. For all of you who like shiny, so this is the shiny side. And as you can see, there's still a really nice shiny finish left. I will pass this one around for you guys to touch. I will pass another one around, which I've done before, so that everybody can get a feel of what it feels like. Please hand them back to me. So, um, I'm also going to pass around some, uh, some notes. Did you give us the data already? So that we just can get your data and can keep you updated. And of course, I'm also passing on some flyers. Thank you very much.